What's up everyone? Today we're going to be talking about ECW legends that are one day going to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Let's get right into this. First on my list, we have Tommy Dreamer. Dubbed the heart and soul of ECW, Dreamer was a main feature in ECW in the 90s and early 2000s. He was even brought back in WWE's reboots of ECW in the mid-2000s as well. During his time in ECW and WWE, he won the ECW Tag Team Championship three times and the Hardcore Championship 14 times. He even won the ECW Championship twice and is the only person to win it in the original ECW and also in WWE's version of ECW. He has had big feuds with a lot of big ECW names and is considered one of the best ECW originals. Next on my list, we have Raven. Raven is known for his psychological heel tactics and grunge-inspired gimmick. His feud with Sandman in the mid-90s has been described as one of the most emotional rivalries in wrestling history. He is a one-time WCW Tag Team Champion, a one-time WCW Light Heavyweight Champion, a one-time WCW United States Champion, a four-time ECW Tag Team Champion, a two-time ECW World Champion, Champion, and a 26-time WWE Hardcore Champion, and those championship reigns alone are enough to definitely one day induct him into the WWE Hall of Fame. Next on our list, we have none other than Rhino. Rhino signed with ECW in 1999 and stayed with them until they closed in 2001. He was the last ECW World and ECW Television Champion of the original ECW. He joined WWE and stayed until 2005. He returned to WWE in 2015 as part of NXT and later signed to SmackDown. He teamed with Heath Slater and they became the inaugural SmackDown Tag Team Champions. During his time in WWE and ECW, he held the ECW Championship once, the ECW Television Championship twice, the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championship once, and is a three-time WWE Hardcore Champion. Next, we have the suicidal, homicidal, genocidal Sabu. Sabu is known for his hardcore style wrestling, which he thrived for in ECW. During his time in ECW, he became a two-time ECW World Champion, a one one-time ECW Television Champion, a one-time ECW FTW Champion, and a three-time ECW Tag Team Champion, once with Taz and two times with RVD. He became a fixture in ECW and has some of the best hardcore matches ever produced. He is definitely one of my favorite ECW legends in my opinion. He was one of the most extreme and he did stuff that you could just never imagine and just all of the crazy stuff with barbed wire. His matches were some of the best in ECW, let alone wrestling history. Next on our list, we have Sandman. He joined ECW in 1992 as a crowd favorite and won his first ECW World Championship later that year. In 1996, he teamed with Tommy Dreamer and feuded with the teams of Sabu and RVD, as well as the Dudley Boys. He is a one-time ECW Tag Team Champion and a five-time ECW World Champion, which is the record for most reigns. He later joined WWE from 2005 to 2007, and he is known as the hardcore icon. Lastly on our list, we have none other than Taz. The human suplex machine is known for his work in ECW, making people tap out with the Taz mission finisher. He joined ECW in 1993 and stayed until 1999. He then joined WWE until 2002, where due to injuries, he became a commentator until 2009. He was a three-time ECW tag team champion, a two-time ECW tag television champion, a two-time FTW champion, a two-time ECW world champion, and in WWE, he was a one-time tag team champion and a three-time hardcore champion as well. Those are my picks for future ECW legends to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, and with more and more ECW legends getting inducted into the Hall of Fame, it's just a matter of time before these names and more get inducted. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment down below who you think is going to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in the future that are ECW legends. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.